Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be explaining one of the strongest things you can do in Outpost Rush. It's a 20v20 mode, it's a PvP mode, however, I'm not going to be talking about building up your base, I'm not going to be talking about building camps, or, you know, continuing to build those gates up, or even spawners. It's going to be all about the five barrels that you just saw me purchase at the Armory. These five barrels are going to be exactly what we need to blow up Baroness in less than a couple of seconds. So you can see that we have a ton of different resources. I'm going to throw and stash everything. You just need that 500 Azoth. And I'll show you exactly where you can get your Azoth as well. But I did this in well before the preparation of Baroness. So we have four minutes left in the Baroness before it appears. So we're going to actually try to stay very, very safe. And I also want to show you, like I said, the route that I take on both sides of the map. So if we look at the map real quick, you can see on the north side of the map that we are going to take this left side. We're going to take these uh, these wolves. We're going to go through the mine. We're going to take those creatures out. We're going to go to the portal, take those out, and continue on if we need 500 uh, or if we don't have 500 yet at that point. South side, pretty much the same thing. I'm just going to stay on the left side of the map or the west side of the map as it's going to give us pretty much the 500 Azoth that we need. I would recommend, if you are going to do this strategy, have five people in your group. It's much, much easier. However, we did it with three, and we did it successfully. It just was not as you know instantaneous, which would be very fun to show off as well. So the first thing you're going to see here is, like I said, playing very, very safe. This is something that I don't want to lose. It's instantly a gift to the other team if I die. So I'm going to play you know, pretty much outside the gates with the main herd, which I usually don't do in Outpost Rush. Usually you know, we'll go back to their base and set up camp there, setting up spawners, setting up uh, you know, all of these different things. But here I'm going to play safe. We're going to take over mid, it looks like. But we're going to leave very, very early for Baroness to set up these barrels. And the strategy obviously becomes that we're going to lay all five of these barrels on the Baroness spawn. And we're going to try to explode them all at the same time so that we can kill it before anybody gets there. And this is not my first time actually doing this. We've done it in multiple outpost rushes before, so I'll show some clips at the end of the video. But it's crazy to see not many people go to Baroness before they spawn. So we're able to kill maybe one or two people, sometimes zero people, when we're setting up these barrels and blowing that up for the first second. Everyone gets there a little late, and it seems to be a very common theme across the board for Outpost Rush. So we are getting there, like I said, very early. Two minutes left to spare. We're going to find a nice place to hide until about 12 seconds left. We're going to ignite the barrels at we should realistically ignite the barrels, I believe, at like 10 seconds or 11 seconds because it does take a little bit of time to actually ignite the barrels and you want to blow it up as soon as possible. And you also don't want anybody there to mess with you when you're starting to ignite because they can't do anything after it's really ignited already. So for about a minute 30, we're going to kind of just sit here and hide. And I'm also going to throw on these barrels into every single tap. So I'm also thinking to myself right now, you know, what if we have some contact? I would rather have a potion in one of the slots. I'm going to have to refill it anyway because you, you can't really put five barrels in your uh, you know inventory ready to use at the same time anyway. So what I'm looking at here as well is that middle is being taken over by them. So that's great for us actually. For one reason specifically, their focus is on middle and we have one minute left. It's gonna take them probably another 20 seconds to cap that. Uh, I've got some teammates with me, Zelgen and Cleo Menace, and we're all going to, like I said, ignite these at the same time. And if we had five people, it would be much, much cleaner, but we just don't. So we're going out here, we're getting these barrels set up now. Right here is about where about where it spawns. So the biggest thing is to keep aggro as well. Because if you don't keep aggro, those barrels will not blow up in the right spot because the Baroness likes to jump around. And if you have met multiple people there that can mess it up, maybe explain to your army what's going on, what you're doing. Or hopefully you don't explain to your army and they just stay away. So here we go. We're getting set up right now. We've got 25 seconds left. I'm running out to the middle. I'm going to place these barrels, all five of them, very, very close together. So the first one's down, second one's down, third one's down. I have to go to the inventory, click the other two in. And realistically, you can just double click, by the way, to get those in. And we placed all the barrels at this point. And now we can start igniting right now. Like I said, we're a little late on the ignite. Uh, Zelgen's not with us. He's up there on the front lines. He needs to come back over here. He's coming for the third one, though. This is perfect. So we're going to be able to blow this up as soon as it spawns and nobody's realistically going to be able, able to do anything after those are ignited. So at this point, like I said, it's that quick, it's that easy. This is one of the best strategies in Outpost Rush right now, definitely against teams that just aren't prepared for it. 
and you can see how fast it was done, how fast we took it over and we won this game because of our second Baron kill. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.